Have you ever had a problem throwing a frisbee? If you have, your problem can be solved through dynamics. Dynamics basically gives you a theoretical understanding of how objects behave in motion through physics. And also the false idea that after analyzing an object in motion, you yourself can reproduce that action without any previous practice. Like boxing, playing baseball, or jumping in and out of canoes. Yeah, we're here at RIT with Clem. Clem's going to show us uh, the dynamics of throwing a frisbee. And uh, we're going to have Jesse explain the whole dynamics of the whole system right after. We're going to see what he saw, and we're going to see what I saw. Let's check it out. Go ahead, Clem. All right, so this is what I saw. I saw the disc come out of Clem's hand, winds all here, underneath, a little lift action, flying, bam, down on the ground. That's all I saw. What did you see, Jesse? To apply dynamics to this particular situation, we would use the cylindrical coordinate system. First, we would set up the axes from the point of release. Then we would use big R, little r, theta, and z. Big R is the line from the origin to the object. Little r is the projection of big R onto the xy plane. Theta is the angle in the xy plane. And z is the height of the object. We must use the unit vectors ur, use theta, and uz to show the magnitude of the velocity, acceleration, and gravity in the direction of these vectors. And that's what I saw. All right, that's it, folks. That's the uh, tutorial on uh, proper Frisbee throwing with the little dynamics added along to it. So uh, see, let's give it a try. Let's see, let's see what I got from this.